The National Weather Service says large, rough waves will impact some of our beaches through Thursday. News for Jackson reporter Brianna Andrews is live at Jacksonville Beach. And Brianna, erosion is always top of mind in coastal communities. But, you know, the situation out there is not as bad as it could have been. Yeah, you know, Bruce and Jen, we have to think communities like this one are easily impacted with storms like Hurricane Aaron. It can actually make this area more prone to future damage. Now, just last year, Jacksonville Beach saw a major restoration effort. Crews pumped more than 1 million cubic yards of sand across 10 miles of Duval County shorelines. The federally funded project cost more than $32 million and aimed to strengthen the coast, safeguard sea turtle habitats, and prepare the beach for storm like Aaron. In Nassau County, a $20 million renourishment project just wrapped up in Fernandina Beach, stretching from Fort Clinch to Sadler Road. Since May, contractors have been working nonstop to, be, to rebuild the shoreline. But even with all of that progress, Aaron's strong winds could still reshape the coast. People in the area already noticing some changes. You can see already there's a bit of cut up there where it's the waves gotten a little rougher, but Mother Nature immediately comes in and moves the sand around as it sees fit. And you'll see an increase in sand in other areas, you know, as it kind of, um, the shoreline takes on a new shape and form. Um, the, the stabilization, though, over time has proved to be successful. And crews are prepared to come back and fix any areas that could be impacted by any of the storms in Fernandina, along the coastline, that is. For now, I'm reporting live, Brianna Andrews, Channel 4, the local station.